Good morning, GMS. I'm Marin. And I'm Izzy. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of December 13th, 2021. Our annual canned food drive has started. Each year, the GMS Student Council sponsors a canned food drive that helps stock the shelves of our, lo our local food pantries. Students can bring in donations and drop them off in their first period class. We will be collecting items through next Wednesday, December 22nd. If your child is home due to illness, please make sure that you call 317-889-4040, extension 2, and report it to our attendance line. If you are going to be gone for a trip, you need to let the office know a week in advance. Students, if your Chromebook needs repaired or replaced, please have a parent fill out the form on the GMS website. Click on the parent tab and click on the device repair. Remember that you are still required to wear a mask when riding the bus. Thank you for your cooperation. The last day of school before winter break is Wednesday, December 22nd. Don't forget, this will also be the end of the second nine weeks. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I am Jackson here with 7th grade math instructor, Mr. Patterson. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How are you? Uh, good. Yeah. Uh, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm a 7th grade math teacher up here. This is my first year teaching. Um, I just graduated from Ball State, and I'm a big movie fan. You have created a fun new film club at GMS. Tell us what made you want to do that. Probably, I'm going to close the door and then we'll restart. Okay. Yeah. You have created a fun new film club at GMS. What made you want to do that? Well, uh, all throughout high school, uh, middle school, and college, I was a big movie fan. And I used to make uh, little movies with my friends uh, in middle school when we started. And I really wanted to bring that experience here to the, uh, the middle school, kind of get involved more and kind of show kids how to make movies and how to be passionate about something. What is your favorite movie and why? Uh, my favorite movie is this uh, indie movie called Sorry to Bother You. Uh, it's extremely, extremely strange, and I think I, I really enjoy it. There's a lot of metaphors behind it. Um, you know, kind of a, it's a big allegory for modern day America, but it's extremely strange, and I love how creative it is. What are your favorite things to do in your free time? Uh, well, if it's not obvious, I like to watch a lot of movies in my free time. I also play a lot of video games uh, with my friends on Xbox, PC, uh, PS4. I don't have the 5 yet, but I'm, I want to buy that. Um, so that's kind of what I do in my spare time. Uh, thank you for coming on our show today, Mr. Patterson. Have a great week. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Hanamna and this is the sports for today. On Monday, December 13th, we have 7th grade boys basketball away at 5.30 at Decatur Middle School. 8th grade boys basketball versus Decatur Middle School at 5.30 and at home. On Tuesday, December 14th, we have boys 7th grade basketball versus Paul Hadley at 5.30 p.m. at home. Boys 8th grade basketball versus Paul Hadley at 5.30 p.m. Paul Hadley at Paul Hadley Middle School. On Wednesday, December 15th, we only have 6th grade, grade boys basketball away at 6, 6 o'clock p.m. at Beach Grove Middle School. On Thursday, December 16th, 6th grade boys basketball at 5 o'clock p.m. At, at, at Indiana Creek Middle School. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in at the sports. Hello, and welcome to the Top Trending, where we show the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lily, and let's get started with number three. According to News for Kids, on Saturday, people representing nearly 200 countries agreed to a new climate deal called the Glasgow Climate Pact. The deal shows more progress that pe than more people expected, but it's still not strong enough to avoid the worst effects of global warming. Over the last two weeks, people representing 197 nations have been holding difficult talks at the United Nations. Number two, according to goodnewsnetwork.org, a 13-year-old boy named Abraham uses his Make-A-Wish to feed the homeless in his area. Abraham learned that he would need a bone transplant, 
and without one, it could have been fatal. A year later, the transplant went well, and that's not the only good news. Over the course of his illness, he found that he qualified as recipient for Make-A-Wish. Rather than wishing for something for himself, he decided to give back to Earth others. Abraham decided to use his Make-A-Wish to feed the homeless in his area once a month for a whole year. His mother wasn't a bit surprised by how selfless his wish was, since they do often volunteer in their community. Number one, according to CBC News, Ki Kids News, there was a recently an Instagram campaign asking people to post pictures of their pets in exchange for a tree being planted. Well, you might think tw want to think twice before you jump on board. That's what happened on November 2nd when an organization called Plant a Tree Company used Instagram's new Add Your Sticker feature to create their own sticker that said, we'll plant one tree for every pet picture. However, Plant a Tree Company deleted the post 10 minutes later. The organization behind the post explained in a separate eight days later that it realized the post grew, would grow too big and did not have the resources to plant that many trees. As it turns out, Plant a Tree Company isn't the actual business and actually the business of planting trees, so the pet pictures were all just for show. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week.